for the second session. Uh, good evening, everybody. After the nice case by Deepak, sir, I'll just be uh, focusing on some uh, newer techniques or uh, newer, uh, uh, I'll, I usually call it as a hybrid technique. So I, I'll present a case. He, she's a 40-year-old doctor lady. Uh, she presented to us with a pain in the knee. She doesn't recall a history of trauma. He, she has a pain in weight-bearing, locking, and has a history of steroid and PRP injection as well for the knee pain. So I would like you to just go through this MRI. Reading these MRI images is very important. So there are three things that we can uh, uh, appreciate here. One, it is a complex tear pattern. It has a component of horizontal tear. It has a component of radial tear. It has a sort of component. So if you see here, so this is a component of bucket handle tear. You can see a little bit of a double PCL sign here as well. But you can see that there is a horizontal component to this as well. You can see there is a break here as well. And you can, if you uh, appreciate, there is a little bit of extrusion here as well. So there are a number of components to this complex meniscus tear pattern. So uh, again, in this, these pictures, you can see that this is sort of a bucket handle tear pattern break in between so there is a radial tear and then a horizontal component here so I it has a sort of a mixture kind of appearance uh, here so these kind of tears are does not fall into definition of a pure bucket handle or a pure horizontal or a pure radial kind of a thing and initially historically these patients were treated with uh, meniscectomy so when i go in this was the picture now if you see here this is the posterior fragment which was giving the double pcl sign appearance so this was the main uh, uh, posterior fragment which was giving a double PCL sign of appearance. This was the radial component of the tear and then there is a horizontal component to this as well. Now these kind of complex tears cannot be addressed by one pattern. So what I will do here is I will do a hybrid technique. So we use a all suture anchor sort of an iconic anchor here and we'll insert it and we'll prepare the bed. So this anchor, this is the iconic anchor, this will not only uh, allow the side to side uh, uh, repair of the meniscus, but it will also provide us a, a improvement in the extrusion, number one. And number two, it will bring the meniscus into its place. So we, uh, we use the first anchor, and then we will pass the sutures uh, sequentially. So this is from the posterior part, I am pa uh, passing the sutures. So, and then we will be passing anteriorly. So posterior, posterior uh, pa uh, are passed with the uh, uh, suture passer kind of a device, and then you use the anterior. So anteriorly we pass it with a suture shuttling sort of a device. So this will lead to a side to side, to side repair, sort of a margin convergence of the meniscus. So one by one we are passing the sutures like this. And then we will, uh, we will then you have two sutures here, two sutures here, and then we will be doing a side to side closure of this uh, meniscus like this. So that it, it does two things. One, it will reduce the extrusion, number one. And number two, uh, it will do a side to side closure and bring the meniscus tear into its position. Now, once the suture is in position, the air device works very well. So what we'll do is now we have reduced the meniscus into its position. And now we will be using the air device to close. This is the horizontal component of the tear. This one is a horizontal component. So we close the horizontal component here. So this is a posterior horizontal component, which is usually closed by this air device. Now this air plus device has an advantage as compared to the traditional air uh, device. You have a upside down and a uh, up and down uh, variants available. So you can close both the up one and the down one. So this is the upper sleeve. Now after that, we will be focusing our attention on the down so you have a two meniscus flap the upper flap is closed by the first uh, air plus suture after that we will be uh, changing our portals and now we are using a side to side suture on the under surface so he, uh, here we will be using the down curved uh, air plus device so this is the down curved air plus device so this will be used uh, in this pattern so it so both the down uh, both the inferior surfaces of the meniscus are closed in this way from here to here And then once this closes, it will give a, uh, so what I plan to do is I plan to close the horizontal component. We have closed the radial component here. And then we have closed the inferior flaps by doing the inferior stitch. 
So this is the third stitch. This is the inferior stitch that we have put. And you will, uh, you will appreciate that with each stitch, the meniscus is ap approximately uh, approximating nicely. So ev every stitch. Now, now we will focus on the horizontal, horizontal component on the anterior, compartment, anterior part of the meniscus. So this is the uh, anterior part of the meniscus. So this is the first stitch and then it goes up. This is the third air device. So this is basically a horizontal component that we have closed on the anterior aspect. So we use one for the posterior horizontal. We use one for the anterior horizontal. We, won, we used one air device for the inferior uh, side to side closure. Because since these are complex tears, these are chronic tears, as we, uh, somebody, somebody from our audience was asking. So we need to make it more and more uh, secure. We want to make it as secure as possible. So this is this was sort of a final appearance. This was good, but we still feel that there is some uh, sort of a gap. So what I uh, uh, felt in the end is I uh, uh, covered both the horizontal and the radial component with a side-to-side -side stitch and a horizontal covering stitch. So this stitch goes up on the posterior compartment and goes down on the uh, anterior compartment. So if this is a posterior flap. We uh, take it on the up and then we take it on the inferior, uh, on the anterior inferior side. So this close the meniscus from side to side also as of the horizontal and the radial. Both the components are closed. And once it is done, once it is tied, we can see that there is a very good approximation and all the components of this complex meniscus tear usually have been taken care of. So uh, multiple, uh, multiple anchors, use of hybrid sort of a technique in which you use all suture anchor along with all inside techniques like air plus devices will usually give you a very uh, good results. So one, one important message, this is the final repair. We can see that all the sutures are in position and we can see that there is a very good repair of the very bad kind of a complex meniscus tear which was there. Thank you.